Yo guys, it's Bunny Spinner 2 here, and welcome back! I am here, and as you can see in the background, I've cleared out a large area and started doing some lovely map art. It's, 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 it's not the best in the world, okay? So let's just pop around here. As you can see, it is a little lovely kiwi. This little kiwi. Oh man. Oh man. It takes so long to try this. I've sketched this off of a. Well, I'm bad at sketch anyway. I've sketched this off of a kiwi, an image of a kiwi, so my plan is to go ahead and build, oi, hey, my plan is to go ahead and build a, like, kiwi shop along here and put a big fern going up, but I'm not sure how that there is exactly going to work out, because I thought, I need to have a go at doing map up, I need to try and keep myself interested with doing some things, but when I was working on this here, I have come across so uh, I had come across an issue. I pop back into my base because I needed I was running out of supplies. Went in to go grab something and then I twisted around. So like, what, what's that? I saw a name there. I jumped around and I just came around the corner. I didn't quite do it. There's a guy here. He had cleared out all my glass here and slaughtered nearly all my sheep and well, these are the few survivors. I was like, what the what the, on earth are you doing in my base? What? What are you doing? And then I, and I was like, oh. I started rebuilding it, and I did a message in chat going, ah, oh, you little shit for wrecking my stuff. And then it wasn't until I come up here, and I was like, wait, what? Why is this bit missing? I walked around here, and all of this was gone. My chest, my furnaces were left, just my chest, all the hoppers, everything were gone. I was shaking. I was shaking. Arms are not sweaty. <laughs> My arms are heavy, but they're all shaking with rage. So I contacted the lovely Luva, and I am sorry if I'm saying your name wrong. And well, here is a little short clip of what it was like when I contacted Luva. <laughs> I'm just going to put it in here. Okay, I'd like to say thank you to Luva just up here, because I've just experienced on here someone, some little smart person. I come in here from building a map art that I'm working on, and there's a little player here. I didn't quite catch his name, disappeared, and oh, they managed to destroy, or well, they killed my sheep here, and then they have also griefed this corner here yet this corner area here of my base and then they've also gone through and they have cleared out my hopper system here which I am absolutely pissed <laughs> it's actually irritating irritating as shoot so again thank you for Luva thank you very much Oh, that's good, that's good, and especially they went along, and he also claimed up the land along here as well, that I was missing, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to remove my sheep farm down there, because it's no longer claimed, what, what tipped me over the edge, and he was, I walked in here, is so, what, all my villages gone, he slaughtered all my villages, and my lovely one here, the one that took me forever to get, Efficiency 5 Villager. He was only 50 emeralds. He wasn't cured by the zombies, but Efficiency 5 is all gone. So I'm going to have to go ahead and I'm going to redesign all of this here. And another thing that has been broken that took me forever to do. Oh, I've got villagers that are popping up everywhere because it's all broken now. Was my little system down here. It's sadly all broken that converted my villagers into zombies. So now I've just got villagers roaming around everywhere. So I'm going to have to fix all this up. It's a disaster. I need to stop the breeder up there because it's just pumping out useless villagers at this stage. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to be clearing out all these chunks. Hello. And I'm going to just clear out this area and get ready for a grind of making a new and improved villager trading system and fixing up what has been demolished. So Griefing, it's not fun. It's not fun at all. I don't actually think anyone would do it, but yeah, that criminal who destroyed it has now been banned. Jake Tibas. 
it's not fun man, please don't do it again if you are watching, which no one ever watches these really, but let's get into clearing out this lovely area. Okay everyone, this is now what it looks like. It is a huge improvement of what it used to look like. We have got a clerk villager here. I'm hoping he's going to work work his way down to the workstation down here. So we've got it so they'll come in, stand in here, and we flick the little lever and they get trapped in there. And I've got a lovely little design of the roof here, which adds a little bit more detail to what it used to be. It used to look pretty ugly. The other only downside is I'm not sure how on earth I'm going to get the villagers over to this side. Did not think about that there, but I'll do that when it comes to the comes to needing it. And when we want to start making workstations, we grab a workstation, push it down, chuck it down there, and the villagers will work their ways to their stations in theory. So we've now set this up, we've now got more backup here. You push the button and the minecart goes and clicks these villagers. They come out here, we'll come out around here. They work their way through and they'll be hit by a zombie, which I still I have to get in here. That's going to be a very fun task to try and do. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm also going to get that there done. But as you can see, it's not the best setup through here. But it is a huge improvement, a little style down here. We have now managed to capture ourselves a zombie, which is beautiful. And I have also gone ahead and cured some more villages, which is fantastic. So I've got them sitting along in here. And I still haven't locked in some trades, but this is still my original one here, which is absolutely amazing to get villages back. And this place is starting to look pretty snazzy. So the next thing I thought we're going to work on to today was going to be the lovely, my lovely shop. We are here in Kiwi Shop, my lovely little shop, and I oh, just keep selling out. I can't keep up on stock with that there. So I need to improve my iron farm at some stage. But the next expansion I was planning was to be, I'm going to call it a terraforming section. So I want to try and sell a range of blocks in here. So tulips, flowers, ferns, grass, vines, and leaves bamboo and blocks so what we can use to build substances because most things are not available it's like pink like tulip t-u-l-i-p so there's not many varieties available as you can see here so i want to try and build a terraform or i'm calling it terraforming so you've got all your building supplies in here so i was going to go ahead and start working on a design for in here I'm not exactly sure what I'm really going to do. I think I might raise the roof up, but I was going to open up this here. And I'll maybe do like a tree or a native arch going over top. And I'm not the best builder in the world, but I need to have a go at building something pretty. But what I have mainly done since that last little clip of... Well, it was last clip. I have gone across and I've started collecting flowers and leaves along here it takes quite a long time to try and get some of these here but i ran out of mow meal so i can't really do any more so that's why i thought i'm going to go ahead and i'm going to start making myself a lovely cute little shop so i'm going to go ahead and start laying it out and i'll do you guys little progress updates because i think that'll be a bit better let's get into building my lovely shop Okay, everyone, we are back at the shop again, and I have done quite a bit of progress. There still needs to be some work done, but this is what it looks like. You can see the cup there, and here's a lovely, weird-looking shapes tree. Uh, um, yeah, it took me a while to try and get this weird shape done, because I'm terrible at doing this type of stuff. But this is the design I've come up for the shop. So we've got a couple of display flowers, and we've got a little hill going up here. 
So that somewhat displays, I'll add some more flowers and that to this here displays what we will be going to sell. Some bamboo, we've got the pods all here, and then we have the my. Oh, wait a minute, just one moment. And we have the pods all, and also a couple ferns and grass. So that's what we're going to be selling in the store. So I'm going to have like all the flowers going along the edge, and that will eventually wrap around here once I get rid of my, my lovely junk chest. And then in the center, we'll have the leaves and other decoration blocks. And I've got a little ender chest and that there's just a little bit of detail. But I thought this, this looks, it looks okay. Because we've got that little arch, got the roof I need to try and work on. But I'm going to go ahead and fill up all this store. <laughs> I'm going to try and fill up anyway in between cutscenes. Or in between this and next episode. If I feel like bringing out another one. But this is what the tree is looking like, and the, well, the shop is coming along, okay. And I thought on the next episode, if we can call it that there, I'll work on improving the sheep farm, because I need to get a new design up and get all those sheep back up and going, since they're all slaughtered. And I'm going to work on an improved storage system, because the one I have now is getting pretty overloaded with junk, and it should be okay. I don't know why it says dispenser failed. I don't know where that's where there's a dispenser. Bit weird. But anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed watching this episode on the Webcraft server. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Thank you very much for watching. And let's cue a little outro.